here we are in the garden again. We're looking at our swarmy bees. Been lucky with the weather in the garden, haven't we? It's a nice day to do the inspection. Fully expecting to have to do some, for, some form of swarm control. And today my plan is to make a demarine. Um, so uh, I'll explain how that works. Let's go and have a look. Usual procedure. Super off. Fresh bees. Let's have a wee look. What's got in here? Here's our outside frame, which never seems to have anything right. Here's our food stores that start the brood nest. Here's our sealed brood. Be nice. Oh, oh, just as we suspected, here's a queen cell. Aha! So we're going to have to do our swarm control. Alright. Let's close this up a minute and I'm going to move it over, over there and I'm going to bring in a new box. I'll just move this over here. A new box. A new brood box. And it's got mainly foundation in. I had drawn comb. I've got one frame of drawn comb so that's good. Otherwise it's just foundation. I'm going to make space in the middle there for a frame on one side. So now I've got to go back in here and find a queen. Old story. Let's find a queen. So I don't think she's on any of those. Oh, we're in luck again. Here we are. Here's the queen and she's on a nice uh, frame with, with brood on all stages. And once again, we're going to have to uh, look for queen cells. We really don't want any queen cells to go in this with a, with a queen. So I'll just have a look all around, brush the bees off, have a good look. I don't think there's any queen cells, so I'm happy for the queen to go in here now. Here she goes. Uh, close this up. And now um, I'm going to put Phoenix was on the top here, as usual, and my super. And now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna want another super. I'm gonna another super, so there's a long way between the queen down there and this other box, which I'm gonna put right on the top. So here's another super. Foundation, whatever you've got. Yep. Top. Put this box on top of here. I'm going to put another phoenix to on. Yes. I am. I can't remember quite why. I suppose it's in case there's a new queen arrives in this box, but we're going to try and stop that. So, we're doing swarm control, so we want to get rid of swarm cells. And the demarine, unlike some of the other methods, you won't be able to make any increase in your colony, but you will be keeping the colony all together. So, what we really want to do here is get rid of all our queen cells in the top. So let's go through the frames again, very carefully look at the queen cells. None on here. None on here. Here we go, here's the queen cell we found first of all, so we're not wanting this. Up she goes, queen cell. Sorry baby queen. Another queen cell. Got to get rid of these. Hard hearted, I know. These queen cells are going. Oh, here's another one. Uh -huh. I didn't expect that one there. We've got to get rid of it. Okay. Queen cells there. That's fine. And none on here. Now we've had our 
spare frame and it's too cut bottom. So that put that in here and now we've got full box. And now we can close that up. Now what's happening here is Queen's down here and she's only got a small amount of brood. Most of the workers will come up through this queen excluder. The queen can't get through that queen excluder. So she's stuck down there. The other bees will come up, will look after this brood, but they'll also be a bit disorientated, the bees up here. They'll wonder what's happened. There's a big space between there, and they remember about the queen pheromone. Well, it's not really distributing up here, so these bees up here, they kinda, they're not sure whether they're in a, a new colony or not. Um, and so there's a chance that they might make queen cells and a chance that they won't. So, but just to make sure, we're gonna come back in a week's time, as usual, okay? Okay, a week has passed, so we need to go into our top box again. And we're looking for queen cells. Same procedure, go through every frame very carefully. Queen cells will be open this time, so some of them might be quite new. There'll be these emergency cells that the bees can make from um, young larvae, very young larvae. And, and they'll appear in the middle of the frame, probably, rather than the outside. But don't guarantee it. Look everywhere. Look carefully all around the frame until we find queen cell. And we're going to get rid of them again. Queen cells are gone. So I happen to know there's no more queen cells in here. So we've done our job. And that's us. Put this back on. This back on. And we've done our swarm control. Um, so these, these bees can't make any queen cells up here anymore. What could happen later on is that queen really builds up down there and she might decide to swarm later on but we've given ourselves quite a, quite a break so we're, we're hopeful, we're hopeful, I'm not always certain but we're hopeful we've done a manipulation and we didn't need much spare equipment to do this one did we? Um, but we didn't, we didn't make a split but there's a way we can do similar to Demery and make a split as well which I'll tell you about another time. Um, we can come back to this colony when all this brood is hatched out That'll be at least three weeks' time. Uh, less a week. <laughs> yeah, uh, another another two weeks or so, and um, we all the all the bees all have hatched out of this uh, top brood box, so we can get rid of that, uh, move the frames down, redistribute the frames, how you how you like it. So that's our demerit method. Okay.